How did I get here? That's the question that I remember asking myself in the back of my mind when I walked into this boardroom. I looked at myself, my age, my background, my experience, my education, and I looked around the room. And I immediately felt like an outlier, even though in all of my research it says that I shouldn't. As a matter of fact, the best way to describe it is if you've ever seen an old country western movie, or heard of this scene, this famous saloon scene where the cowboy walks up to the saloon and swings the door open and everybody just stops and there's a hush that goes over the room and it's silent and there's this awkward moment and everybody just pauses and looks awkward. It felt like that. But on the other side of it, I felt a sense of confidence, of credibility, of charisma, of even pride because I had someone who had believed in me, helped put me in that boardroom. Have you ever had someone who believed in you, believed in your capability, believed in your potential, believed in the pinnacle of success of what you could achieve or how far you could go? That's what black women need in the workplace. Black women have a better chance of getting into leadership positions with someone advocating for them. They need someone who will speak on their behalf, who will raise their profile, who will increase their credibility. I know this because I know what it's like to not have a sponsor and to hit a glass ceiling. Now, did you know that black women make up 60% of the workforce according to a Gallup study, which cited the US Bureau of Labor Statistics? And a Lean In and McKinsey and Company joint study tells us that only 4% hold C-suite executive positions. A Harvard Business Review article on how a lack of sponsorship keeps black women out of the C-suite tells us that the primary way for black women to overcome organizational reluctance in order to gain promotions is through having a sponsor. And further research tells us that black women experience difficulty attracting sponsors compared to other communities. So we're constantly told to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and to leverage our education, our experience, our know-how to get us there. While my previously cited research tells us that a sponsor increases our chances. Now, I'm not a rocket scientist. I'm not trying to sound cliche, but that kind of sounds like a stacked deck. So we're told to elevate in a current system that was built and evolved when leadership spaces looked and operated differently. And now is our chance to enhance the system to include a different perspective. So for black women, this is our chance to show our credibility, to show and demonstrate our capability and give credence to what we do. And for sponsors, this shows an opportunity of being aware that a gap exists and that there's an opportunity to step in. Sponsors have the ability to advocate for black women in their skill set, the capability that they bring. They have the backgrounds to put them in boardrooms, to put them on panels to make decisions, to put them in places of impact. The opportunities that I've been able to leverage and the credibility that I've gained from decision makers, the rooms that I've been able to sit in and the decisions that I've been able to contribute to reaching a global impact have come from sponsorship. Sponsorship has taken me so far, I'm on the TEDx stage talking about it. These are the conversations that black women are having behind closed doors, and I'm passionate about this because I don't want to be the only one in those boardrooms making decisions. A Lean In report says that 54% of black women report being the only one in the room, and that can get lonely. Now, of course, there are challenges with building relationships with other ethnicities, races, and backgrounds, but each year, we all have the same opportunity to bring in and celebrate a new year, pouring champagne, wearing funny hats, watching the ball drop in different time zones across the globe, and let's also not forget 
coming up with New Year's resolutions, that after two months into the new year, we give ourselves a pass to start over again in the next year. And we're also connected through new life every day. According to the World Counts, 4.5 babies are born every second. And we celebrate through baby showers, through gender reveals, and let's also not forget the well-intended, unsolicited advice on how to manage this new life. And we're also connected through losing someone. Whether it's a loved one, a friend, a parent, or someone that's just impacted our lives tremendously. But we are connected through being human beings. Black women have also contributed to movements. Sojourner Truth, an outspoken advocate for civil and women's rights. Daisy Elizabeth Adams Lampkin, who dedicated her life to women's organizations and eventually became the president of the Women's Suffrage League. While there's a need to support black women, there has been support from black women reaching centuries back. The key is to recognize that a gap exists and being intentional about sponsorship. Now, sponsorship doesn't go without saying and recognizing how it puts the sponsor's career and reputation on the line. Let's just be honest about that. But there are some really great examples of when taking that risk has proven well. Katherine Johnson, the NASA mathematician who helped put the first astronaut in space is a great example and who was just recognized in a critically acclaimed movie and who was the recipient of the Presidential Medal of Freedom back in 2015 due to her incomparable efforts because of sponsorship. A Forbes article says that in today's marketplace, it's more important than ever that decision makers include input from a wide range of people, including black women. The more voices that provide input, the better the resulting decisions will be. And that there's also an economic advantage to hiring from a diverse pool of talent, which includes reducing recruiting costs and increasing the chances of having an increase in applicants because of representation. Now, to be fully transparent and vulnerable with you, what I fear the most is that we believe we have to do this alone, when we don't even do everyday life alone. So why should we believe we have to do this alone? For black women, you've gotten this far from your overall efforts, from your sheer dedication, your determination, your will, and the support of your community. Don't be afraid to build strong working relationships to put yourself in a position of success. Don't shy away from aligning yourself with people who can and will speak on your behalf. And for sponsors, the ask is to know that we need your help. We need your support. We need your advocacy. We need you to grant visibility and shed a light to help us land these leadership opportunities. You hold the power and the key to changing and evolving corporate America by increasing the number of black women in leadership positions. I challenge you to contribute to something that will outlive you by advocating for black women to get into leadership positions by using your voice and your positions of power to get Thank you.